Hey guys, NCSFan001 here, welcoming you to another one of those trophy list analysis videos. It has been a very long time since we've done one because it's been a few months since anything I really wanted to talk about has released. But now we're getting into spring and then summer of 2020 when we'll start seeing a lot more games coming out and hopefully a few more of these videos. However, this one came as a big surprise. I was not expecting to ever see this game make its way to PS4. Today's list is 60 Seconds, aka Desperation Soup Can Survival the Game. Uh, this game, basically, you get 60 seconds to scavenge your house before a nuclear bomb goes off, including picking up your family, drop everyone to a fallout shelter, and then have to survive down there for as long as possible or until you get an ending. The game does not yet have a set release date, but it comes with 57 trophies worth 1,230 points. One platinum, two golds, four silvers, and 50 bronzes. So let's take a look at the list. So our platinum trophy is King of Cans, Collect All Trophies. That's, uh, that's very fitting for this game. So now we have Prepper, I Will Survive, Survivalist, Last Man Standing, and Conrad Style. These trophies are for surviving 5, 10, 20, 40, and 111 days within the Fallout Shelter. Now, the one thing about this game that needs to be said, this game is going to be 100% luck-based. The only skill comes at the very beginning when you're scavenging your house. Aside from that, the game is 100% luck-based. So keep that in mind about all of the trophies that I'm talking about during this analysis. Super, uh, spelled a little interestingly, collect 10 soup cans from your house. 216, collect 10 water bottles from your house. Those are actually both pretty easy. Danger Zone, our first silver trophy. Break or use everything possible in your shelter. That one I feel like is going to be kind of luck-based. I don't know if you have to do it all in a single game, though. All Thumbs, we're back to bronzes. Break or use something in your Fallout Shelter. That's uh, going to be unmissable. Cuckoo's Nest, turn your Fallout Shelter into a madhouse. So for that one, I'm assuming at least one character or all of them have to go insane. So that's going to be a little bit luck-based, but that tends to happen a little more commonly the longer the game goes on. Gotta get them all. Scavenge each item at least once. There's a luck-based trophy for you right there because there's like 20 different items. Atomic Drill. Complete the government-endorsed Fallout Drill. That's the tutorial, so that's easy enough. This is the end. It's all over, so it doesn't... I'm not sure exactly how you get that one. Uh, that one might just be, like, one of the ways that you fail or something. I'm not 100% sure. Rescue Time. Get rescued by the military. That's one of the endings. Bug Hunter. Show those mutant cockroaches who's in charge. That means to use the... Uh, bug spray or insect repellent whatever it's called in the game to stop the cockroaches which is a random event one way ticket die in your fallout shelter that's probably going to happen at some point friend in need find a new friend for that one you have to rescue the dog which requires like three very specific steps and a few specific items family guy rescue the whole family it doesn't specify if that means you have to complete the game with all four of your family alive or if you just have to get all of them into the shelter if you just have to get them all into the shelter then that's very easy torah 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 ram 1337 obstacles in your house that one's just going to take some time that one's easy though lumber sexual trim ted's beard the trendy way so use the axe to trim his beard that is a random event home sweet home get to the shelter before the bomb hits that's going to be unmissable New Species, Mutant. Uh, that one you have to turn Mary Jane into a mutant, which requires another very specific event that is then luck-based. So you have to have the spiders appear in the Fallout Shelter, not kill them, and hope they make Mary Jane into a mutant, which is part of the, the way that you actually win the game. Duck and Cover, Survival is Overrated, Stay to See the Fireworks. That's very easy, just stay topside before the, when the nuke goes off. Miracle, listen to the voices from beyond. That's a silver. I have no idea how that's earned, so I don't know what that trophy is. New Order, meet the local law enforcement. I think if you meet them, they come in and take all your supplies, so that's unfortunate. Unplugged, ram a toilet. That seems very easy. Enola Gay, win a game in every mode on Little Boy difficulty. That's the easy mode. I don't know what other game modes there are, though. Uh, Manhattan Project, win a game in every mode on Fat Man, medium difficulty. Dead Hand, this is a gold trophy, win a game in every mode on Czar Bomba difficulty. That's the hard mode. That is not going to be easy, because although I don't know what these other modes are that it's talking about. 
Yes, man. Always say yes and win. There's some luck-based crap for you. Fair exchange. This is a silver, kind of surprisingly. Uh, perform 30 successful trades. That's just a little bit grindy. That would come naturally while trying to win everything. The dark side. Show your evil self. Not sure how you unlock that one. Probably by like taking things from innocent people and in random events and such. That's my assumption. Liberation. Rescue someone from the bandits. That one is going to be pretty luck-based and require you to have certain items like the gun. A gift. Receive a gift. That one should be unmissable. Naysayer. Always say no and win. So that's a silver. That means that at any random event where you can talk to people, I guess, just say no instead. Another luck-based trophy. What goes around? Give and give back. So that sounds like you have to help uh, a group and then you'll get something back for helping them. I think that there's a number of ways you can do that. No stone unturned. Fully explore your shelter. I'm not entirely sure what that means, but it, it'll probably come naturally while playing everything. Unbreakable. Defeat three bandit attacks in one game. So you have to have three bandit attacks and you have to have the weapons and the padlock to deal with them. Pacifist. Defend yourself without a weapon. There's the padlock for you. Be prepared. Don't forget to stock your shelter. So it looks like that one, they want you to bring the lock and the briefcase into the shelter. A new hope. Ally with other wastelanders. So that would probably be like the twins, working with the twins or something. Pro gamer. In apocalypse mode, grab only what a real gamer needs. I don't know exactly what apocalypse mode is, but it looks like it's the checkers board and the deck of cards. And that's all you can grab. But it doesn't say you actually have to win with it. Mad Hatter, put on a stylish hat. You get hats through, like, completing challenges and completing the game and such. Holidays, complete the holiday challenge. I don't exactly know what that is, but it's still only a bronze. Maybe it's not terrible. So now we're getting pretty much into all the trophies that I have no idea what they are because I don't ever remember seeing them, so these must have come from later updates after I stopped watching videos of the game. Well, this one's not. Challenger, complete one challenge. That's easy. Ah, uh, the rest of these trophies, I don't really know what they are. Cat Lady, learn to serve and obey the new masters. Feline Domination, look at me. I'm the captain, meow, so something with cats. Soup Can Into Space, reach for the stars. That must be like an ending of a challenge or something. I know that they did make a sequel to this game called like 60 Parsecs, so I'm assuming that maybe it has something to do with that. Men in Black, find your way into the VIP bunker. Probably requires a very specific set of events. Raining cats and dogs, there can only be one. That seems like it shouldn't be too difficult. Out of the bag, find a new companion. That seems like it wouldn't be too difficult. Uh, girl power, live through the nuclear blast as Dolores. So that must allow you to now play as Dolores. And that's probably a pretty easy trophy. Enigma, reconnect with old friends. I don't know what that means. That's probably something luck-based. Disco Roach, make them dance. I feel like that may have actually been an event you could get in the original version of the game, but I could be wrong. Dawkins Residence, find DD, DDDs or DDs apartments. And not alone, a gold trophy. If you play it, they will come. Since that's a gold trophy, I'm assuming that's some kind of ultimate challenge you have to do. So, 60 seconds the game. That is it for the list. Like I said, this game, I don't really know anything about the challenges and some of these later trophies. I should probably look into that because I know it came out on Steam and that was through updates and stuff. But as for the stuff that I do know about, which is the majority of the list, this game is not very skill-based. It is 100% luck-based as to whether or not you get certain random events, whether or not they even decide to let you survive a thing. Things like surviving 111 days, finishing all the game modes on hard difficulty. It's just going to take so much time and so much luck that I would not recommend playing this game for trophies. Now, I wouldn't mind picking it up for cheap and playing it on my alt account and just getting to play it because it looks like it could be fun. But it is 100% luck based. So if you're going for the trophies, you're not going to have a good time. So I'm not even going to give it a difficulty rating because it is 100% luck based. And as for time, I would expect that even just the base, like the trophies that I do know about, would probably take upwards of 40 to 50 hours just due to the amount of luck they require. So that's my thoughts on this game. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully we're going to start having more of these in the near future now that we're getting into a time period where there's going to be more games coming out. And see you for the next one.